This icon challenge is called Insertion Source Part 1. What I want you to do in this challenge is to get an array and it's going to be a parameter to a function. So they want you to get that array and apply insertion sort on it. But in the process, you need to print the state of the array at every iteration. So here, for example, we have this array, what I'm trying to highlight, 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. It is almost sorted in ascending order, but the element 3 here needs to be in the middle, followed by 4 and 5. So when we apply insertion sort to that array, we're going to get 1, 2, 4, 5, and 5, because 5 is going to get copied at the first duration when we sort for the elements 3. And then we're going to reach here where 4 is going to get copied, so it appears twice. And then here in this last step, when we try and see if we need to shift the element with the value 2, we realize that 2 is not greater than 3, so we stop here and we insert 3 in the correct position. So in my code here, I'm getting this array and then I'm creating two variables. They are int variables called num and j. I can loop through my vector, but I'm starting at the second position. So index one here. The reason why I'm starting at index one is because I need to compare my current position with the value on the left. So that is why on this next line here, I am storing the value of the current position, which is i. And then j here is equal to i minus one. In other words, the left of the index i. Now, if we need to perform any shifts in here, then I'm going to copy the values. That is why you can see that five gets copied here or four gets copied. So this is because of this line here. And then I decrease j to move j to the left. And at every iteration, I need to print the states of my current array and move to the next line. Once I find where I need to insert my elements, so for example, we are looking at the value three here. When we find a way to insert it, then we can add it at the position j plus one. After that, when we are done with the sorting, we need to print the final sorted array. So that will be this line right here. So once we are done, we can just scroll up, make sure that we have not made any error, and I can submit this code right away. We have four test cases, and we've just passed all of them. In the future, I'll be having dedicated videos about algorithms. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.